today I'm going to show you how to make a really delicious Strawberry Delight no-bake dessert. So we're going to go ahead and prep our strawberries for our pie. And what you want to do is you want to wash them really well. And um, to wash them, we usually just soak them in a little bit of vinegar and water for about 10 minutes. And the vinegar just kind of helps remove any impurities. Just stem them. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to fill this blender cup up with strawberries because we need to make some puree for our sauce. And then the rest I'm going to slice into my big measuring cup because we need six cups for our sauce and pie filling. We need one whole cup of strawberry puree to make our sauce or pie filling, whatever you want to call it. Now I try to also cut off any white spots because they will take away from the flavor of the berries if you keep them on there. So try to only put red into your mixture. Strawberries are a finicky thing. They can be really hard to cook with because when you're baking, they can really lose their, their flavor, so to say, in baked ingredients. We're not really baking this, but we still want that sauce to be as flavorful as possible. So, And it is a really good sauce. I think I'm going to slice that one up. That one's pretty big. And I usually just slice them like so, long ways. That way, they kind of look a little bit pretty when they go on the finished pie. So I'm going to set the sliced strawberries to the side, and we'll come back to them in a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and blend up these whole berries. Put my lid on there. All right. It's going to get really loud. So we want, let's see, we want about a cup of this for our pie filling. So I'm just going to measure this out real quick so I can make sure we have enough. And there we go. And then you can always drink the rest. Mm. I love strawberries. All right. So now we're going to get our sauce started, and that's going to be on the stovetop. It's the only cooking part of this recipe, unless you make a homemade crust. So I'm going to get out, let's see, let me look at my recipe for a minute. We need two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water. And of course I use my small measuring cup for the strawberries. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get a quarter cup of water. And then we're going to put two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch into that. So one, two, and then you need about a half a tablespoon more. Then you're just going to whisk that up. I do this beforehand because then my sauce doesn't get lumpy on me. So I like to whisk that up in the water before I do anything else. Before I do any heating or mixing of anything. Make sure you got it all stirred up because it can settle to the bottom. Alright, now in your saucepan you are going to put that cornstarch water mixture. Again, make sure you have it all mixed up good, which I do. 
And then we're going to add in three quarter cup of sugar, just regular sugar. Make sure I got it. So I'm going to use a spatula and I'm just going to mix that up good. Mix that sugar and that water and cornstarch mixture. The cornstarch is ultimately what's going to help this. It's going to ultimately help it thicken up. And then you're going to add in your strawberry puree. Just go ahead and add it in. Now we're going to take this over to the stove and we're going to bring it to a boil and once it comes to a boil you'll just let it cook for about three to five more minutes and you'll notice it'll thicken up and it'll also become this really deep red. At first it'll look like you can see kind of like a almost like a film with the cornstarch but it, it becomes once it thickens it kind of becomes a deep red color. And that's when you know it's good to remove it from the heat. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the stove. So I'm going to put the heat on a low to medium heat. And then you want to constantly stir it so it doesn't scorch. Because it will have a tendency to scorch. That sugar and the strawberry together, they uh, can burn on the bottom. So. Just make sure you're, you're stirring the whole time. It really doesn't take it long to come to a boil. Just a few minutes and it'll be there. As you stir it, and as, as it heats up, it's going to start to get like a white foamy film on it. That's okay, that's going to go away. When it starts boiling, that's going to go away eventually. And when that goes away is when you'll know that it's pretty much ready to go. When I first came up with this sauce, I tried making a strawberry reduction. I tried all kinds of things to come up with this sauce recipe. Well, it's more of a pie filling than it is a sauce. I have another sauce recipe on my site, and it's a lot less sugar and uh, much simpler, but it doesn't really work for a pie filling, and this does. This has that thicker, really strawberry flavor, thicker texture really really good. You can use this for pie filling. Let's see what else have I used it for. I've used it in cheesecake, um, strawberry swirl cheesecake. Um, it works for all kinds of different things. It works for a sweeter topping for ice cream. It's just about there. It's starting to fizz up where it's going to boil. I always take my spatula and scrape the sides so that I can make sure I'm keeping it all, all of the goodness in the middle where it'll cook and won't burn. Alright, now it's starting to bubble up. It's going to get boil in here pretty quick. And there it goes. Now, be careful. You may have to turn your heat down just a little bit because it'll tend to bubble out on your hand. So be really careful that it doesn't burn you. If you need to turn your heat down a little bit, I'm going to turn mine down just a little bit. But you'll start to notice it's going to start thickening the more that it boils. And I'm going to go ahead and start timing for three minutes right now. It'll start to thicken up and it'll start to get rid of that white film and get that deeper red strawberry color. And that is what we want. Alright, so our sauce is done. So I'm just going to turn the heat off. Bring that over. It's a nice, thick sauce. And you want that to cool completely before you mix your strawberries into it. So what I usually do is let it set for about 5 minutes or so. And then I'll stick it in the freezer and let it chill while I'm mixing up the filling. And usually after about 20-25 to 25 minutes, it's ready to go. So that's what we're going to do is let that cool. Now we're ready to mix up our filling. And we're going to use a Dream Whip filling again, just like with my blueberry dessert. 
But we're going to start by whipping the cream cheese in a separate bowl. And I like to do that so that it doesn't clump up in the Dream Whip filling later on because it will tend to do that. So this kind of helps, helps with that a little bit. You want to make sure it's softened before you go to use it. And you want two cream cheeses or two eight ounce boxes of cream cheese. Wait, that one's hard to open. So now I am just gonna put my mixing paddle on. Give that a good mixing for a few minutes. So let's beat up pretty good. All right. Once you get it beat up, you can just kind of scrape your beater off and you can set the cream cheese to the side. All right, so we're gonna set this to the side. We're gonna bring another mixing bowl over. And this time you're going to want a whisk attachment. We're going to go ahead and put our Dream Whip packets into the bowl. You want two packets, so one whole box. Now you can probably use Cool Whip. I have not tried Cool Whip. You can probably use that. I just really like the fluffy texture of Dream Whip. It's just so silky smooth. I really like it. And it's what I used, my mom, my mom used growing up. So just kind of carry the tradition over. All right. Once you get that in, then you're going to add a cup of milk. And then you're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. I love vanilla. It smells so good. All right. Now you're just going to follow the package directions, which basically you're going to mix it all up till it's blended on low speed, and then you're going to beat it on high for four minutes until it thickens up and forms soft peaks. Pretty simple. Our Dream Whip is all mixed up, and now we're going to go ahead and put in our cream cheese and our powdered sugar. We're going to add those to it. Let's usually scrape it off onto the beater. And then you're going to add in two cups of powdered sugar. And when you first start it, if your mixer is like mine, you want to start it slow so it doesn't spill out all over the table. I think I've just about graduated to getting a bigger mixer. All right, and when I first get going, I always like to get it going and then kind of scrape the sides so I can make sure it's mixing everything really well. Because a lot of times that powdered sugar will get up on the sides as soon as you get it going. All right. Now you're going to mix it for about three to five minutes or until it's really smooth and creamy, hardly any lumps. You'll have 
a lump here and there from the cream cheese or powdered sugar, but that's okay. Alright, so I think it's done. I think it's ready to go. It's got that dreamy angel fluff type of creaminess to it. Get as much of it off the whisk as I can, and then I usually will either lick it myself or give it to the kids. Mm. So good. So we've got our pie crust ready to go. It's cooled. We've got our Dream Whip filling, and I'm just going to go ahead and pour that Dream Whip right, in, Dream Whip right into the crust. Now you can save out a little bit of this if you want to for the top of your pie, but I don't usually, I just usually put it all in the middle. And then you just want to spread it out as evenly and as smoothly as possible. Now we are ready for the strawberry filling. Now I've had this sitting in the freezer cooling and it's ready to go. It's nice thick texture. And I'm going to go ahead and mix six cups of berries into this. You know what? Sometimes we just don't think, do we? I'm going to put the strawberries back in here because I wasn't thinking. I always put it in the measuring cup. What made me do that? <laughs> oh my gosh. My brain. Just want to make sure you get all the sauce. Now I probably have a little bit more than six cups of strawberries and that's okay. As long as they get mixed up with that sauce fairly well, it'll be all good. I'm thinking about taking this pie filling and actually just putting it into a regular pie crust for a strawberry pie because it's just so good. It's good without even without the Dream Whip. It's so good. Once you have that mixed up, then you're going to go ahead and pour it onto your Dream Whip right on top. So you're just going to take and put these on top. And spread them out as evenly as you can. This is a great dessert to feed to a crowd um, because it makes so much. And if you don't want this much, just split it in half and put it in an 8x8 eight eight dish or in a regular pie plate and you can still enjoy the dessert even if you're not feeding a crowd. Eventually I will show you how to make this with cherries and uh, banana. Um, we'll make banana, blackberry. I've got all sorts of plans for this. The blueberry one has been very popular and the strawberry one is kind of proving to be almost as popular right now. It seems like people really like these no-bake desserts. I don't blame them. I like them myself. They're easy and quick and easy to feed a crowd. So, all right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cover this. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> trying to change the type or anything. You won't let me. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to cover it well and stick it in the refrigerator, preferably overnight, but you can stick it in there for four to six hours and it, it'll be good to go. When you slice into this snow-baked dessert, it's gonna be pretty messy. It's almost like a pudding underneath, but sometimes it can thicken up a little bit more. So, it might not be the prettiest, but it sure does taste good.
We're just gonna dip in here, pull this out. Mmm. This recipe has three parts to it. You have the pecan nut crust on the bottom, and then you have the Dream Whip creamy filling with cream cheese and powdered sugar. And then on top, you've got the strawberry pie filling. And the best part about this dessert is you can make it with pretty much any fruit you want. So strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, cherry. You can even make it with chocolate pudding or bananas. So that's one reason, or several reasons, why I love this strawberry no-bake dessert. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my family's favorites. And it seems to be pretty popular on the blog, too. Hmm. Really, really delicious. Hmm. I think I could eat this every day, all day. Are we done or are you still recording? Yeah. See you next time. <laughs>